Lights are on and the mic is ready to be used, and the Gateway Playhouse in Summers Point will officially open its doors this weekend. Everything in the building basically went down to solid block, and we started from scratch because there was so much deterioration over the uh, over the years. This is a gem of a building, and it it needs to be brought back. There needs to be a place where the local community can come out and support live theater. For the massive renovation, the group raised over $600,000. Add that to the money the city obtained through grants and the entire project totaled over $1 million. And after all that hard work, the two say it was all worth it. We've worked long and hard on this and you know, we've had ups and we've had downs over the course of nine years to get this project completed and to see it in this state now is just so emotional and so overwhelming. It's really a dream come true. I, we've worked so hard over the years, our board of directors, our volunteers, folks in the community. It's, I, it, <laughs> it's just, just fantastic. And they've prepared a weekend full of entertainment to reopen the hot spot on Bay Avenue. Uh, people can expect a great time. We've got Tony nominee, uh, Andrea McArdle opening for us. We're, we're super pumped about that. She was the first Annie on Broadway and um, she is going to be doing her cabaret show on Saturday night, August 19th. And the live performances don't stop after opening weekend. A full list of the schedule can be found at gatewayonthebay.org. They're hoping the Playhouse will not just be entertaining but also a boost for the entire city. When you have a theater in a location like this it helps the whole street. It helps all the bars. It helps all the restaurants. Um, so I think it's really going to be good economically for the community. I'm Kimberly Carr for SNJ Today.